Hi, it's Peter Zalem's Greeny Flicks Adventure 8 and welcome to another video. Yes, I was planning to go camping this weekend and I'm going camping with this weekend with my buddy Stephen. You can see in the background there. I'll introduce him to you shortly. And the idea was to try out the Hilux here, the Alley Cab Canic B Camper. And my buddy over there with a Troopy, with a Alley Cab conversion to the Troopy as well. So that's what this video is going to be about. And um, we are trying to get to Nunes, but we're, it's a road close, so it looks like we're going to go to Plan B and go to another part of Nunes. Hmm, <laughs> bummer. But anyway, the adventure shall continue. must be one of the most scenic valleys in uh, New South Wales. It's all part of the Great Dividing Range and the Blue Mountains. And uh, as you'll see here, this road is quite treacherous. Going underneath the, um, the escarpment here, and I presume that's the reason why the road is closed here. But this section's become a bit dodgy. Hopefully it'll be fixed up eventually. We've had a lot of rainfall in New South Wales and I presume that's the reason why the road is closed. But look at this valley. Unbelievable. There's even a seven star resort down the bottom there somewhere in the distance. But we're going to go to another part of Nunes. Uh, there is a tunnel that used to, a railway line that used to go to uh, down the valley here. In the old days they, there used to be oil shale mining and the railway used to take, uh, collect the oil and bring it back to the main areas of Sydney, whatever. So we're going to go to another part of Nunes, probably into the rainforest, not in the rainforest, uh, into the pine forest and then go down to a section called the Glowworm Tunnels. That's where we're going to camp tonight. Oh, it's cold here! I wonder if it's going to snow tonight. All the water damage. Oh, this has been washed away by the heavy rainfalls. Yeah, pretty dodgy. All right, on to the next part of the journey. Whew, get out of here. Yeah, so this is a heritage mine museum just outside, well just outside of Lithgow and then we'll be following the old railway tracks through the valley there eventually up to the glowworm tunnels. Let's go being a mining town, I used to use these old rail carts. Well, you can see it's uh, the driver sat here. There's his controls. And it's not very high. There you go, that's the height. And everyone sat in there. Oh, your goal. Hop in and off to work I go. Voila. Well, it's about the same size as uh, my camper. Well, maybe actually a bit more space here. Very comfortable. Showing a little bit of wear and tear. Anyway, so back to um, the subject, which is these two cars. The Alucab tents are outstanding in all the different versions. The, uh, the conversion that's done on the Troopy. Uh, the ute uh, attachment, Alucab Canopy Camper on the back of the ute works really well and I've got the Alucab roof tent which then just sits on the roof rack on the Troopy that you may have seen on one of my previous videos. Um, yes, um, so there are pros and cons with all those different varieties of tents. What I like about the Troopy conversion is that you can sort of walk in through the barn doors and then get into bed that way. And that same 
principle is the same with the Hilux, and we'll be able to see that today. All right, we better get on with the show and get to our location for camping uh, before we run out of daylight. Uh, at this stage, I might introduce Stephen. Hello, Hello Stephen. <laughs> Stephen is one of my first customers for Adventure 8. And when we went across Australia, the Gun Barrel Highway, Karijini. Karijini National Park, all the way to the west coast, there is a video. That's there right. will be a link in the video. Sounds very good. <laughs> You'll see more of Stephen shortly. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's uh, have a look around and then continue on in our journey. Yep. The lack of luck, yeah, look at this. Road closed again, so we're gonna approach the glowworm tunnels from the other side. Closed again. Um, all right, so I think plan C. Yeah, plan C. Did we have one? Head off into the bush somewhere. If we head down that route, I think we're gonna be exposed to the wind. If there is a road back there, uh -huh. if we go across into the valley there, then we might be a bit more protected. Welcome to Hotel Alucab. Alucab in the bush. Yes, we've got this one here, the Hilux all set up here with the Alucab shadow awning or something like that, I think they call it. And then uh, there's all my, my beds up there, it just gets pulled down. And the kitchen and the fridge. My power station is my tech world, power station, 1300p, all ready to go for my induction cooking. So we're all set up here, and uh, Stephen over here has got his yeah. you cab all set up. Yeah, that's the rooftop conversion. Wow, look at this. Two years in the making. Yeah. Two and a half, yeah. That's right. Five years in the planning. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. That's uh, 
photography studio on wheels, that's how I call it. Uh, interestingly enough, it's called Outback Studio. My car is called Outback Studio and my website is called Outback Studio. And uh, uh, it's all about uh, uh, doing photography on wheels. So wherever I arrive at a destination, I can stay there, I can take shots, I can process the uh, post-process the images and uh, anything else I need to do, yeah. So that's one of your YouTube channels that you'll be releasing, and what's the other one? Well, they are related. One is called Outback Studio and the other called is Outback Gallery. So the studio is about the adventures to get to the places and uh, to uh, take the pictures, and the other one is more about uh, photography, uh, theory. It's more about uh, uh, post-processing uh, uh, and other aspects of, of uh, photography, in including composition and, uh, and lighting and everything else. So uh, the, the Outback Studio is more like uh, uh, on the road and the Outback Gallery is more like in my home studio. So they are complementary. Complimentary. Okay, my grab, oh, thank you. Well, here's to a reunion yep. from the gun barrel from the wild, wild west to the sophisticated east. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. More trips. Mm. Yummy. Mm. How long ago was that trip? Um, Five years ago? Mm. 2018, Cabernet Merlot. Yep. 2017, I think, wasn't it? Mm -mm. That sounds about right. Five years ago. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's bloody freezing. But uh, welcome to the Hilux Alucab Canopy Camper. It's um, luxurious, to say the least. All right, we're going to prepare some dinner. We've got, uh, what have we got? We've got induction cooking. My induction cooker. We'll plug that in to the iTech World Power Station, of course. Got some salad, some feta cheese, cabanossi, some butter. What else do we need? Tomato sauce. Okay, that's done. My table. And my cooker. All right, well, let's start the process. Look at that, look at that. It's taking shape. We've got the salad, we've got the wine, and we're about to cook up some Kwanski. We'll cut those up and put them into a sandwich, plus the salad and some wine, and I think we're ready to rock and roll. All in the comfort of my Alucab Canopy Camper. So Stephen, what do you think of a cafe adventure? Eight? You like this? <laughs> that's, uh, that's outrageous! It's so good. <laughs> Very good. You can become a street vendor <laughs> with this setup. Just as well, the demand isn't that great. Otherwise, I'd run out of supplies. I think. <laughs> well, I'm being your own cus only customer. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a big danger. You're a good customer because you brought red wine, so that's even better. Yep. Well, I think it's approaching zero as far as the outside temperature here, and you can see it just says it's boiling. I think I'm going to boil the water away here on the induction cooker. Hoi, ay, ay. All right. I think the tea is ready. <laughs> the tea is definitely ready. All right. Whoa. Okay, we've got water still. That's good. That's a good sign.
Well, that was uh, great to get out for a couple of days with Stephen. It's uh, the Blue Mountains are amazing, and uh, to be so close to Sydney, just to be able to get out and about, it's uh, it's wonderful. So we're planning to do maybe some uh, photographic workshops for people that want to get out for a weekend from Sydney. If you are interested in joining us on a workshop, uh, there will be a fee that helps to support the channel. Uh, then do contact us. Uh, the best way to contact is probably through adventure8.com.au and then we can let you know when the next uh, weekend outing is. As you probably already worked out, I'm using the iTech World Power Station. And um, the great thing about the alliance that I have with iTech World is I can give you an Adventure 8 discount code. Yes, so if you need any lithium batteries or power stations or solar blankets or accessories, check out iTech World, um, itechworld.com.au. And if there's anything there of interest, then use my Adventure 8 discount code. Yes, you can check out, just use Adventure 8 in the discount code promotion. And that will give you an additional discount to whatever else is going on uh, as far as the discounts that uh, adventure uh, that itech world might be promoting and um, that's also true if you give them a call or turn up at their shop in perth in wa so hopefully that helps you as well thanks again for watching and if it's the first time to my channel then press subscribe and notifications you'll be notified when the next video is out if you like the video then give it a like a thumbs up that would be really appreciated thanks again for watching and we'll actually see you on the next video cheers bye